Hello, and welcome to Urban Hood Money Talk. It's a fact that we need money to enjoy life and focus on the things that we really like. I'm your co-host, Ali, and I'm here with Mushi Buyan. Our mission is helping you gain financial freedom. You're listening to one of our special weekly market talks. Please do your own due diligence if you go and uh, trade in stock market. What happened to last two week? What are you seeing? At you're looking at the last week market, you know, when it's a market, stock market where S and P five hundred grew six percent last week, Nasdaq seven percent, and uh, the bond is coming cooling down the bond market, and the the oil price also is staying below one ten. So one of the number we are looking at is. Uh, for well price, it has to be below 100 if one, in order for the, the inflation go down. So slowly, slowly, as things economy got get better and the energy industry get better, hopefully this number is going to be coming below 10, uh, 100. That will help uh, the market, and the market is going to be then ready to turn around. SPY, look at SPY. What happened on SPY since last week? It's a uh, each candle represented a day, daily chart. On the each time, last week, SPY went so much down. You see this is, is at the bottom of this, slowly, slowly turning around. It's a big jump, a 389.90. Last Friday, huge jump because nobody, I said nobody, a lot of people, typically Friday, a lot of traders uh, are big fund. They, they see based on last Friday, you Friday, the market was just bearish. And before that bearish, it's, but last week, it just all those bears got slaughtered last Friday. But market turned around bullish at the end. So if it keep maintaining the momentum, you will see that it's coming this week, that market is, is with trends say, showing that a lot of buyers came in, coming in. And if it keep maintaining this, you are going to see that SPY is going over 395, then 400. But officially, there are is some is a, uh, some other uh, analysts already officially saying that we are heading to the bullish market. But one week cannot guarantee what's going to happen. We have to wait for a couple more weeks to see that. Mm. I'm going to do the QQQ. This is like QQQ represent NASDAQ, but look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ also same way. It's, it's looking to turn around. So if it does, you are going to see the big tax, big tax, all the especially high PE, Amazon, Amazon, look at Amazon. Uh, you see the pattern? All of them is patterning showing last week every day and every day is turning around, going in, in the bullish, getting into the bullish area, Amazon and um, Google. Google had a huge jump. You see last week, Google a huge jump. It's doing. Anybody knows when is Google going, is, is it, when is it splitting? There is a date, they're going to be splitting very soon. Is it in June, end of this month or next month? Yeah, Mushi, Google search says uh, July 15. July 15, okay. So no, typically on, on 4th of July, it's coming up. So if you look at in the history, 4th of July also another trend that market really celebrates that. So if it does, we'll see. But last Labor Day weekend, it did not market, it totally went the other way. You never know what's gonna happen. But the trend is showing that the, the it's ready to turn around and let's go bullish and responding with the market because this this big tech high PE stock got huge um, kind of downtime. So now it's ready to turn around. Same thing what we see with Microsoft. You see that all this high PE stock. The, and big cap was so much down now they're all ready to turn around it has a strong volume and also price action also going higher 
but uh, overall this coming week you know it's, it looks like a trend is more bullish so if like what i sh showed you earlier if spy can stay close to 400 we are officially getting into bullish look at nvidia nvidia the same way why we see that nvidia is is this whole whole cheap industry got beaten up so much it's ready to turn around overall the trend is on nvidia also you see last week every day uh, more and more volume was going higher as volume was going higher higher the coming up price action also responding with the market so nvidia is is ready to come on upside uh, if you see that nvidia goes uh, around 174 75 then it is ready to go out on the upside nvidia so this is something that i i might watch this week see see what happens in, 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 in the whole that sector uh amd how is the amd doing oh yeah amd got beaten up so much look at that damn damn it's still amd it's a why all this selling happened with the market? It looks like AMD is that a lot of sell off happened last week when everything else going going on the upside. AMD, do anybody knows it's any bad news or just like happened with this AMD? But AMD does look like that you now at the end of the day, market try to turn around. It should come back to hundreds, 94, 95. Now, yeah, if it does, you know, AMD 90, 90 is about 95, AMD is ready to come back upside also. It's, you see that it's, it came boom all the way now, slowly trying to turn around. But we'll see that tomorrow, based on the trend, what we see, the market might respond back to positive side on AMD. If anybody bought around this price, 81, 82, especially long term investment. This is a good company to have it in your retirement. If you're looking to add something for retirement, I highly advise you do some research. This is a company they will do well, very well. How about in NVIDIA? NVIDIA, I just uh, mentioned NVIDIA. I, if I have to choose between NVIDIA and AMD, I will take a AMD. Because it's cheaper? Cheaper and uh, AMD is... Um, I like the CEO of AMD oh, okay. because a lot of the time you see the management and she's she's a hustler mm -hmm. and, and that when you see some of them are taking all this thing out but the way they're growing in different multiple areas mm -hmm. they took pretty much Intel's business and AMD keep coming up with all the new products new partnership new uh, they are truly innovating so when that happens that i i know that some engineers also from amd those guys are the saying they have a great culture you know, from the management side leadership time so this stock was supposed to, if you look at it, it is a uh, the nvidia I'm, I'm i'm back to nvidia but look at nvidia 288 it came down 170 now it still is not bad price is not bad nvidia um you know, if you want to do it, I would, but I would not go to many cheap company, you know, if you want to, but if I look at my, the money, if I, the rate of return, NVIDIA was not, 145, 50 was, was going to be there around that price, but mm -hmm. look at, uh, not too long ago, it was uh, that price. Well, right. Mm -hmm. And now it just like, almost like how, which came back to 80. Is very good good discounted price and this is a strong company they have a cash also they're very good with their cash management so i would say you know this company i, I do think that in it can, it's going to give you better return based on the amount of money you're going to be investing i mean this is long term not for the swing yes. trade yes that's why i said long term when i say at least next three to five years this is company is going to, to me is, is going to do give you better return mm -hmm. huh? otherwise okay. another uh, thing something somebody said uh, soxl what it is this one is like instead of going one you can think of this this is called etf 
he's kind of combined pretty much all of the nvidia and you know many of those you can consider that that is look at in this 15 dollars right now this but not too long ago it was 67 dollars look at in january 67 dollars mm -hmm. now 15 dollars but then you are taking the whole sector okay right that's also it's called etf and typically if you are trying to buy something with your 401k retirement this type of things is much better than going individual one company right so i would then highly uh, have you just look at soxl all right right and it says it's a bull 3x share money means so what do you think what do you think about tesla and lucid the EV, EV part. <laughs> Tesla, Lucid. Tesla. We have Tesla fan. Tesla is just like yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, it's burned so many of us. Tesla, look at this uh, I can so believe. volatile. Yeah, it's that's why, and it's a whole industry like Elon. It's be Elon needs to come down because because of uh, him. In they, yeah, I truly think that. Oh, he mentioned at some point he was ready to quit being a CEO and just being the investor and just uh, enjoy his celebrity lifestyle and just go do all the party and then smoke whatever he wants. His company would do very well. But because <laughs> Elon is, uh, has publicity and, and uh, some of those things, you know, he need, needs to come down. But overall, Tesla is so volatile, it goes up and down. Who knew that it's going to be below seven hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but, uh, Tesla is here. Yeah, they have bad news. That's why the the they uh, laid off like a thousand people. Yeah, right? laid off, and they're buying a Twitter, and he just I don't know what else he's, he's going to do, right? But they yeah. had earnings was a great number. You see that when the earnings uh, when they came up in earnings in in April. Mm -hmm. The number was really good, but market did not. My, everybody got slaughtered. Oh, okay. So the, when the, the over thousand dollars, the earnings, earnings came in next day. Market was ready, but it just selling off. Even Kathy Wood, his biggest supporter, Kathy Wood, had tons of selling happened before that. Mm -hmm. So the Elon Musk is saying about Lucid, you know, the competitor. Yeah uh they're like on like almost bankrupt yeah that's up to Elon is going to say you know a lot of them is, is going to be not only lucid you know lucid backed by the amazon lucid lucid got bought by amazon you no know, they, they, they amazon has investment with, with lucid ah i didn't know that yeah, yeah. It's, the market cap is like 32 billion yeah but yeah that's exactly cool. On uh, Amazon and uh, the, I believe, while well, a couple more big investment bank bankers also backing up Lucid. So Lucid also, they, they know that uh, they are not just like waiting because of today. In future, they 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 have potential. You might say that a company like Lucid might either merge with Ford or GM or they. Because they need to bigger other players with Tesla. I did a mistake. I bought it, you know, when? It was $40, $47. Oh, not only you. I know that people on Lucid first came IPO. Look at that. 62. Oh I know people bought that big, that price. But it's going to go um, up. They are I mean, yeah, it's, they are right now just slaughtered. Hmm. I mean, it's like, but with the market, nobody knows Lucid. But you know, if you want to buy EV, but uh, Tesla is very volatile. Mm -hmm. But uh, Neo is another one that you know you can look at it. it that's going to pay very well. Look at oh. Neo now, twenty four dollars. We it's trade like... Neo every day. The <laughs> <Right. laughs> so Neo is like I couldn't believe it went below sixteen dollars a few days ago. Look at fourteen dollars, and then when I was looking at, damn, it just did. But it's a uh, if a, a, anyone just in May 25, look at May 25, 25, $14 mm -hmm. to $24. Now do them $10 for move made in, in almost less than a month. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. It's a huge move. <laughs> right. For that.
So, you know, this is a stock that is a not only strong company, it is it's going to go over $30, $40, and you know, it's coming back. Mm. So if I want to put my money and say, well, I'm going to get higher return, these companies make much higher return than Tesla. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you think about the Baba? Alibaba. Oh, oh Alibaba. That Baba is becoming a mama now. Huh? Long time. <laughs> It's just like, but uh, it is making a momentum. It did try it and China, you know, one of the key things the Chinese companies are now slowly turning around because of the China's uh, government before was very restrict on them. Now slowly they turn around. They are saying that they are going to be lead, more linear to the business and they are tightening <laughs> before now they are slowly turn turning around. So if that's the case, Baba is ba this week you might see Baba is going to turn around. It might go 130 and above return. Mm -hmm. But it's, if I look at the volume, Baba is ready to turn around. Right, uh, right, right. now, if I am looking at weekly, on the week side, Baba is ready. You see that 125 is if I look at last four or five weeks, every week slowly Baba is is ready. Yeah. And looks like the earnings is coming up in, in August 15. Mm. Right. Okay. So Baba Baba and, and their ant group is on the biggest one. If they are, China already said they are going to allow Baba come up with the ant group mm -hmm. to go IPO. If ant group goes IPO, Baba is ready to turn around. You see that before it goes to a 200 range, it will wow. it will go up. A hundred dollars, you know, right? It, it'll go up. Baba is going to go up. In, and I'm not sure that I was saying that it's not going to go right overnight, but Baba has a chance to go to get back. back Because Baba is very, their financial is very strong. Strong, strong. Mm -hmm. Strong plus, you know, is, is, is they are going in, in, in EV market. They also announced they're going to be in EV market. So that means they're competing with the new. And they are also doing the data center business, which is like Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Web Services. So when they are going going after new revenue with those numbers, Baba has much higher growth. Mm -hmm. so, but ba the reason Baba got uh, slapped because um, their leadership that uh, the Mao, the uh, Mao. Uh, what is the, the, that's your name, Ma something, right? Uh, Mao, yeah, yeah. So yeah. The Wow, wow. Yeah, I mean, he did say stuff to the government, disrespectful and stuff. Of course, then government just penalized him and there are things. So now, but it's not alone. Now, things are hopefully settling down and he has some personal issue and stuff. So they got us also mm -hmm. some new leadership team. So you'll see Baba is ready to turn around. Mm -hmm. okay. So you think like right now we're going to go to bullish market? Oh, I, I don't think I would just use what I chart tells you, right? I don't, what does it tell shows you? Earlier, I, I showed the flux, you know, look at uh, the pattern, you know. SP. All you can see, the pattern tells me what? This is SPY, SNB 500, right? You mm -hmm. see all the red, it came all the way down. I'm looking at weekly, all the way 365 came down last week. What do you see? Big candle, right? Yeah, very big. So, very big candle now the only way we can see that this coming week or this two weeks if it goes over 415 we are ready the mm -hmm. market is already officially the pattern is saying you know it got beaten up it's just the each one telling you the weekly it already went at the bottom it came outside this boundary you see that yeah now it's getting back inside the boundary it means buyers are coming in because uh now with this, all the political mass is slowing down. People already found out that Fed is going to be increasing the 75 base point. It's not the end of the world. It's still people are ready to come back knowing that, or, all right, they're not increasing 100 base point. And a lot of people have tons of money. And now the Fed is focusing mostly on their balance sheet. All the printing money they made it now, Increasing the rate, tightening other areas. Hopefully, they will reduce the ba balance sheet, and the value of the dollar is going to be reduced. And that in the forex market, that's also good for the economy. 
hopefully things market tells you that it's ready to buyers are ready to come back and uh, ukraine and russia whatever happens now people are know that you know it's gonna happen for how long nobody knows right right the world cannot just keep going because we are getting heading the worse so I, it does sell uh, the trend is going higher but does it mean how long nobody knows but right now on on short term we see this but if i'm looking at monthly it's a month everyone shows me my if i see month what does it tells you month looks bad right yeah it's month. one day at a time all we just saw one week was green now we have to see next four weeks can it be higher here you see that here 417 it mm -hmm. tells me that if SPY is 417, 450, that means officially we are turning around. But for short term, other analysts, all the other says it looks like there are some good news coming up and 4th of July coming up trend is it's ready to turn around the bullish trend for the short term. Because yeah, I'm showing you now for weekly, right? If I show you the look at daily, daily also doesn't it look like pattern shows us a lot of green than red right mm -hmm. consolidation yes well consolidation would be sitting here but it's just slowly look at gap up gap up mm -hmm. last Thursday it happened gapped up but it stayed up mm -hmm. so now you know next few days if we see that it's staying up and, and just you know if it doesn't have to be gapped up if it stay up and just keep moving on, on the green candle going up that means pattern is so the 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 VWAP would be four hundred. So if it goes above that, we yep. we and Correct, we, you know. Mm -hmm. so it's like you are a technical trader, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to understand how you think. That's why. Oh, just uh, if you do short term, you just look at a pattern and just that. Right. Based on the pattern is okay. Now all I'm ready to make something short short and see that you may <laughs> you put your x amount of money if you make that money just get out <laughs> because right. you want to get out of the green then red right? right although you're not doing day trading but you can make a position and, oh for and, sure and and the green candle anything could happen green is always green right <laughs> that's amazing yeah thank yeah. you for sharing mm -hmm. uh like in overall like i see a lot of news and when we listen to jeremy powell the uh the federal reserve they did scare the market and we saw for the past maybe a week or two stock mm -hmm. going down everybody trying to offload and i hear from my uh, like friends traders they like we don't have like we want to sell the portfolio back and wait until the stock goes really down and then we'll buy back is that the case now i mean uh, for the nearest like a year or maybe like nine months a lot of people do not do now a year or nine months now now with the market you saw that monthly tells us that it can go down more because fed is going to be increasing rate and we do not know the effect of their increasing rate and the job number and others economic number coming up how is going to be affecting in the um, soon in the supply chain market so and the new earnings are going to come out i'm sure from the last earnings, quarter two and quarter three earnings can be ready, getting ready. Companies are not uh, not going to be coming up with, with uh, the number, what they expected before, and then they're going to be tightening their guidance. That's going to be scared of an investor. So I do think that you know, we may still have to have more bad news end of the year going to come in. I would not make a bet for nine months for now. <laughs> But I'll go some of the company like what I just show, shared with you that, hey, it's already beaten up so much that it's a good company. It's going to turn around. And then maybe those are the companies I'm going to buy. And then if I see I make even 20%, 30% for now, just get out <laughs> because yeah. it's good, right? Get out because you made right. your money and because and then you can buy it back again whenever it's, it's going to go down. Exactly. It's just, it's just a matter of time that when those news coming in, and November election is coming. So when November election coming, that's going to be surprise a lot of economic market. Um, right. Okay. okay. It's going to be again volatile. Oh, it's going to be huge volatile. It's just wait, you know. Either way, it is the Democrat, based on what we are seeing, the Demo 
we do not want to talk politics, but it's going to happen if Democrats loses that uh, House and the Senate is already Republican, then if Senate controlled by Republican and House already Democrat lost it, what's going to happen? President is going to be stuck. He, whatever he's going to do is not going to work. So next two years, he just have to wait till new president comes in. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, so wow. Well. Mm-hmm. We are going to be stuck for uh, until next two and three years. And then a lot of volatility. But if you typically did say, if we face this volatility and come into the recession, it takes about two years to recover. Two years to three years to recover. Right. So then a lot of volatility is going to happen. Then companies like you saw Lucid and other, they might struggle even a lot more. Because mm-hmm. then companies like, let's say Tesla, they make money. Tesla makes money. Mm-hmm. So Tesla may go down, but at least now they are not in in only just growth side. They are also in, in value side. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. right. Exactly. Thank well, you for sharing. Yeah. I mean, if um, somebody has questions, go ahead, guys. Oh, it's, it's good. I'm glad you are asking this, uh, and you are active. And do you do that uh, this trading, or what uh, type of trader are you? So I'm basically a daily trader. Trader. I do uh, trade from the levels. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I do scalping, but on overall, I do like a long term investment as well. Mm-hmm. ETI Vanguard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ETFs and I hold like sing like single stocks, mm-hmm. and sometimes I go take a look uh, on OTC markets if anything mm-hmm. interesting there. <laughs> uh, I do not do forex market. I'm thinking to get into forex now. <laughs> oh, a penny stock. Sorry. Uh, oh no, stay away. Uh, forex from is that. um yeah. Foreign I'm getting market. Right. A lot of messages on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, they. They want to tr- uh, train you, right? Uh, yeah, um, you do not. Uh, just, that, that's very volatile. But yeah, that's something. And anyway, we got to watch. But I, I do see that, you know, Bob, you mentioned about Tesla. Look at Tesla. Tesla went from $1,000, $1,100 earlier we talked about. It going below 600 Tesla just one week, Tesla just showed it, it stayed green. Wow. Tesla has to be just one week. If you look at last five, six weeks, Tesla is red, red, red and going down. But mm-hmm. it does look like Tesla is consolidating in this price, 702. It's staying below 800. You see that? Long right. time. It's staying below 800. It has to overcome whole 800 areas, then Tesla can turn around. But for mm-hmm. now, until Elon and sorting get out of this mess with, with Twitter, and then he has Elon also taking not only one hit, Twitter, he has do- Doge. You know, that is a whole crypto world is already it's a different world. And Elon is frontlining many of these hit. So <laughs> Tesla's a lot of money also stuck with, <laughs> with crypto. And he kept saying he's not selling crypto. And you know how much value crypto lost. So all those things adds up. And that's why in, uh, that, the, you know, these companies are going to be struggling. And then you'll see that that's the reason Tesla's uh, investors are, are not ready to come back in. Even his bear, the Tesla is one of the biggest investors, the Kathy Wood, her, although her fund is struggling, she sold a lot of most of her Tesla when right before the, uh, the earnings. And as soon as earnings came, she just dumped Tesla. Wow. Mm. So you have to realize that you know, there are something that we do not know as a retail. If those big investors are keep dumping Tesla and mm-hmm. Elon himself sold four or five billion dollar Tesla, what do you think is gonna happen? Elon is still sitting those money that you know if he has to go with with the Twitter and stuff. Right. Uh, you know. So mm-hmm. there are things in you know, Tesla and, and then SpaceX. You know, you know that that's also fun. He Tesla, the although two different company, Elon is is majority shareholder. He's going to be support or whatever, take money here and support the other one. Right? But still, there is a lot of demand on the cars. If you see, yeah, but in the EVC side now, everybody is coming up. You know, look at the Ford and GM. Everyone is already 
coming up with the near their brand, right? Right, right. So, so Tesla is not an, 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 not alone, and then every time there is a bad news or stuff coming in, whole world is attacking Tesla like crazy. <laughs> Did you guys get on the Amazon? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Amazon. Oh yeah, I, I love Amazon. But Amazon, same thing. Amazon is just like right now dead money. You put so much money on Amazon, it just uh, Amazon got lucky last time. I think the reason before. That also one of the thing happened. I think news came up later on, two quarters ago, when Amazon just shared they shared their earnings here on this side. Look at that! That earnings came in. It's Amazon jumped big because they came up a very good number. It jumped, but it was ready to come back up. Amazon was ready to go. You see, it at some point it was thirty seven hundred before it split thirty seven thirty eight. So they thought before Amazon split, it was going to be over 34, over 4,000. It never happened. But this earning, the number, some of the give big number, Amazon included, uh, that was Lucid numbers. So Lucid sold a lot of cars when they came IPO. So right. those num revenue was added with this one, Amazon boom. Oh, just, oh yeah, look at revenue. But later on, you see on this, this one, Amazon got caught. It just slapped. <laughs> It's a mm -hmm. big sellout happen. Is that Amazon? Amazon yeah. is way over here. So Amazon needs to get back even before earning, it needs to come back about 165, 66 to in that price. Then Amazon ready to turn around and just show some. No. But for now, there's still Amazon showing weakness. It's, it has to, this big candle, 165, 60, that's, that's the one, your pivot point. It has to be one over 165 before Amazon turn around. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Big candle. And golfing kind of candle they say that. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know those terms. I don't memorize it, but I see that all the technical traders, some technical trader, many of them, they know just by heart those no names. <laughs> no, but that's I just okay. look I just look at it in my eye. I guess that says, you know, it's a naked eye. That's a lot of the time it is easier to see, you know, instead of all the fancy names, you just tell them, what do you see? You see, you know, this guy took out all the seller, seller, it just ate it up. It just keep going down. So Amazon has to stay above this before it turned around saying, look, Amazon is bullish right now. Mm -hmm. But hopefully Amazon has some of the numbers last few months since earnings the last few months, especially on Amazon web services and area, they're doing very well. They're now taking the business away from others, like especially their big competitor, competitor with Microsoft and Amazon is, is, is doing very well in those area. Mm -hmm. So that's the, um, Meta, 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 I guess somebody, Ramon, you mentioned about Meta, Facebook. Let's see, what do we say Facebook? And if you want to look it up later, the coin, Coinbase. <laughs> coin, I'm, I'm still learning coins. So I, by all means, I, I cannot, uh, I'm, I don't feel confident talking about coin yet. Okay. I'm learning. I said, I'm th looking that market. I do see that there is a, in this current economy, <laughs> it's a good way to make some money in there. But uh, right. when I take a break. But let's see, you know, the Meta, Meta has, you see the same story like Amazon, mm -hmm. big sell-off happened after earnings. Mm -hmm. And then, but Amazon, we saw that Amazon slowly turning things around, but with the Meta, it's not happening. It's not happening because of course, the Meta has huge investment. But if I am somebody looking my retirement account, I would add Meta in my account. Because mm -hmm. if you look at it, you know, Meta is um, Mark Zuckerberg is like another Elon Musk, and he's a way yeah. superhero if you compare him with Elon Musk. So oh, that guy is a hustler. He's going to turn things around. Right now, he's keeping his low profile, but in the past, he learned his lesson by looking at the, you know, that by fighting with this, all the other Apple and, and other who owns their platform, they say, oh, we are going to be, we, we are not going to allow you to do this, do that, do that. So Meta invested heavily in Metaverse. In the Metaverse is that they're getting into their hardware business. 
if they get it and slowly, slowly they are promoting that. So soon Meta is going to have a very strong platform and they are going to be in the business of just like others. But hey, we, we you do not want to have use our service, no problem. You come to our come to us, I will give you free hardware, but then you use our service. So a lot of people are getting into in those mode. But soon you're going to see that Meta meta in metaverse nft and all those that in the crypto side they're in making heavy investment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this investment is going to pay off yes yes right. so i do think that in meta is if you want to put something in your long-term retirement account do not just ignore meta just add little even five stock ten stock add it just buy stock no option nothing just buy those stock keep accumulating those stock. If it keep going down, add more. If you're going to add more, it's going to pay you big time on your long-term account. Long-term. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's a strong company. And then also that, you know, his sister is gone. Now that's also an, uh, something in the, in the past the management issue, style of man management. As you grow, of course, family, there are things happens. So hopefully that uh, the, that new C, uh, chief operating officer they got. Uh, was she CTO or CFO? She, she, she was, I think, chief operating officer, I believe. Oh, or, okay. Yeah. CTO, CEO. I think. CEO, so not CTO. Oh, she CTO. left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she left. That's how she resigned. At the, at the end, it has. they all got pressured from the board and uh, investors. So they, he had to do something about it but and uh, again you know is and also she did make some comments in 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 press and outside so you don't you want to keep stuff in your home you don't want to go especially investor go make investor panic and i don't see the point to put all all this money and if you don't believe in in the future of the company direction it looks bad <laughs> right exactly right. so yeah well, i Man believe in that a very strong yeah, metaverse is going to turn around. Just like crypto is struggling, can crypto can go back to any any crypto investor here? Crypto, Bitcoin, no Bitcoin here. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm afraid of uh, like talking about crypto, honestly. <laughs> well, look at crypto. You see, what is it? Twenty one thousand. Ooh. I mean, look at the you know, crypto not to any, and it did touch. Last three months, it came down, seventeen thousand. You see that it went. So one of the thing it did, and I did mention that if anybody follow me on on the, on the Instagram or Twitter, I did mention that watch this. If it goes below seventeen thousand, it's going to come back to ten thousand. But you see that it touched seventeen thousand, mm -hmm. yeah. and and then it just. Right, came back up. See the now, weekly. Mm. Huh? The weekly is going down. Yeah, weekly. Is, you see that weekly, daily. I I showed you monthly, but like weekly side, the lowest it came seventeen thousand. Crypto has to be over twenty two thousand in order for it to turn around. The same crypto is back to bullish side, but it's still crypto is hanging. You see the last two week and is hanging to twenty two thousand. Remember, I told you magic number. Keyboard yeah. is 22,000. Crypto has to be above 22,000 if it can maintaining. And you see that it, it's hanging 21,000, 22,000. It's called 200 days moving, moving days average. If it can stay above this number, crypto and crypto is even doing a sideways, is still good sign with this current economy for crypto. But if it crypto goes back to 17,000, you watch crypto is coming back to 10,000. Mm -hmm. So you think that, that there is a support level that yep. the 20, if it goes below 17,000, it's so going to go have... 10,000, it's going oh, to go down. Okay. It, it can, yeah, because that by then it's just like all, this is the strongest for crypto, 17,000, it's has, if it doesn't, then crypto, it did it. If you look at crypto monthly, it has happened. You see here, when was that, October 2020? Crypto thirteen thousand. You see thirteen thousand. Yeah. From thirteen thousand, it went all the way to sixty-one thousand. Came back, but you see that here, 
again around 13,000. You see here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 13,000 yeah. 13, in two, three years. So crypto, if it come back to that number, crypto is coming back to 12, 10,000, you see? And if it drops, then crypto is because people are honest people. Now a lot of investors are scary. You know, economy is going to get worse. So all it's not, face it, this is not a hedge. This mm -hmm. is, if somebody says, I'm hedging my account crypto, the crypto has no real asset behind it. So how can you say it's a hedge? It's totally speculation. Either you believe it or don't, right? Oh, yeah. Right, exactly. So, but if you have tons of money, I know people that they say, you know what, I believe crypto is someday is going to go 100,000. And they do say you know, someday it might go to the moon, million. It does, so be it. So I know some people, you know, the plan to become a billionaire, I just want to own 1,000 crypto. <laughs> and they can, they are just, going, I got this many, I got this many. Let it go down, let it go down so I can get my 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's their plan of becoming a billionaire. <laughs> But I mean, in the future, we will probably switch. Uh, I mean, in, in the next 20 years, maybe we will switch to crypto, right? Nobody knows. <laughs> no one, we do not know what's going to happen in two years, right? But crypto is, is showing the value, like especially what happened in El Salvador and uh, Central America. A lot of countries that are facing the financial problem. So crypto is solving not only just like crypto bad asset, it is solving truly the people problem that where you not only have a transparency, anybody can use the money and the buy service, change the money and uh, do whatever you need to do with the, with your phone, power up phone. You don't need to have all the documents that still you can maintain security and so on, right? And the banks. And the banks, I mean, you know, that that's every, every bank in, in overall, that they are in the business of making money. So no matter what they say, I give you free checking, I give you, they, are, they are going to kill you one way or the other. They will not tell you that, you know, when they kill you, they got to make money. They are enough. But crypto is, is designed not that way. Mm -hmm. and, and then the crypto is not a, going to lie to you what's going to happen. Right. And I think if we all use crypto, it will not be any inflation. At the end, that's why crypto is hanging on because currently, because of adoption of people that, you know, people pressured the big institution, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, and Fidelity, that they, you got to add crypto on my retirement fund. If you don't, I'm going to pull my money out. So when those big monies are, are getting in into getting pressure from their investors so they made the investment so mm -hmm. with that investment of course now crypto has to still survive with all this thing happen so with all the thing happening currently crypto is is doing no, is normal just like stock market you saw that you no know, in equity market nasdaq spy all the big companies went up they all dropping down can they go down more it can go down so crypto is just trading exactly the same way same but way. at some point, if some of the equity turning around and people think that I still find value in Microsoft, value in Amazon, value in, in let's say, Apple, and I don't have find value in, in crypto, the reason because did anybody see that there are last week or last one year, a lot of NFL players or professional players, they, they said they want to get paid in crypto. Wow. And then now this year, the when tax file happened, they were finding that all those professional players lost not only the money, they owe big money to IRS because it's unrealized gain. But they didn't sell it, but they got to do a tax file. So it's net loss. Mm -hmm. So now what's going to happen? So now how many of these new players are going to say, no, I want my pay, <laughs> not this. The company did on their payroll, the put the, by the time they paid them, that time crypto was 50,000, 60,000. Now look at value of crypto now. Right, right? exactly. Right. So that's why that it's so volatile that last few months, there's a macro uh, strategy a company or micro strategy company that her, he's, the CEO was big crypto 
investor here. There are tons of money they invested. They are in, in the in the margin side, so they have to they have to sell. I mean, they believe they did have to have a big big margin call to in order to maintain their crypto status. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if keep if keep going like this on the crypto seventeen thousand below, a lot of big institution who invested in crypto with the margin money, they got to sell. And if they sell, what's going to happen with crypto? That's coming back to crypto 13,000. Mm -hmm. Well, so then we're going to buy. Huh? Then we're going to buy. Well, then you're going to say, now I'm going to wait when it come back to 5,000. And it <laughs> did. This is natural history. It happened. You look at that uh, monthly, right? Here it happened, so 18,000. When was that? So 27, December 2017. 18,000. It came back to when? In in December 18. So 2018. Mm -hmm. So right. people, people are thinking, you know, is what goes up is colors come down. What goes up, come down. What goes up is like big move it made from here. So, mm -hmm. but if I look at it, it's always what goes up, always come down, right? So, what tells you it's not going to come back to this this number right all it takes couple countries in the world that they know what we reject crypto we do this right <laughs> like this just, just like china crypto has more bad news that can turn down but but if you see binance you know binance it's a yeah. crypto uh, the platform a trading mm -hmm. platform uh so they actually hiring 2000 people right now and they sign up a deal with uh what's the the um, a soccer player uh Ron um, Leonard, um, ronaldo ronaldo yes yeah. so they sign up a deal with him so they they will basically promote the nft games through binance and people will invest into the sport games like a stock but that will be a crypto stock Fine, but uh, I'm not saying it's wrong. There are things others are doing, especially in celebrity and NFT side. They're saying, hey, we do see a value. But at some point, when <laughs> you have to buy gas and gas, your gas station, you got to pay pay money to your gas, right? <laughs> oh, I have crypto. That means nothing. You got to pay your gas. And gas says, no, give me the money. <laughs> and the money, I don't take this. Then what's going to happen? People have to come up with this the real value because when if you can when we go to re recession house value is going to be go down house my housing market is cooling down so when you see stock market cool down energy market is going so high is also slowing slowing down and then what else out there crypto is also going to come down when crypto come down yeah some of them are going to go up and down it but there is no true value so people can, can say oh what what are we going to do to maintain our hedge? You know, let me go buy buy NFT and on this NFT or you know those some of those artwork. Who is the buyer? This most of this certain selection. It's not everybody buys it, right? Oh no, no, only people who has lots of money. Yes, but those people if they get taxed like crazy. If governments are going to tax you this, which is that's what they're trying to do, and that's what they're going after. So, what are they going to do? Well, I better just reduce my obligation of tax and let me buy something where they find they are giving me break. That's all they're going to. They're they're rotating their money. Mm -hmm. So, Binance and all these, they can talk about this. Oh, we are hiring this two thousand. They're trying to get all these uh, the retailers come back in. But retailers are the one getting, getting slaughtered on its own. This is the time to get in. And next minute, you know what happened. You, you have seen Solana and Cardana mm -hmm. going back like, you know, crazy percent, 60 percent, 80 percent, 90 percent down like crazy. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's wiped up. You know, if somebody's life savings is there and they said they believe in there, but you just bought some of this coin like this, but they don't truly have the real asset to back it up. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Yeah, right. Solana. That's exactly what Solana and many other. They said, "Hey, you gotta have your real backup. You cannot come up, you know, just issuing all those coins. You need to back it up. Put the money in there. They didn't have the money." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. So yeah, but at the end, uh, nothing better than knowing that okay, I own Microsoft. I own 
on Apple bigger come no matter what you do Apple comes up with Apple Apple 14 which they are going to come up with it in winter time there will be people in the big line to get the new Apple and they'll <laughs> come up with something fancy oh I gotta have that cool <laughs> toy right exactly so, no, no, and, and, those are goods we're using right on a daily basis it's, it will have the value yep and the others people are going to say that those companies not only they come up with Apple you just wait till Apple that when they release their EV, this is cool. Then Tesla is going to be sweating. Oh my God. I can't wait when Apple will come up with their car. When they, they, they already share the prototype and stuff. It's so cool design. So really? you'll say that people, oh, I've seen it. It's amazing. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to, Apple, if Apple, any they do, it's like the best. Yeah. So and that's why I'm saying that the, nothing is better than those companies. You know, they have strong fan of products and the product value is not, they don't come up with BS products. Mm -hmm. They take their time and they are very good at giving you true value. Right. That's gold. So <laughs> Right. Uh, Mushi, do you use findis.com? Yes, I do use Remember that map when you open with all the squares? Mm-hmm. Uh, how come the, the Microsoft became bigger than Apple in the, the share market? I mean, this is what I, I'm showing you trading way, I'm trading view because if you are day trader and stuff, this is a, it's not too expensive. It's a tool to have it. Then you get, get a real time or if you are not day trading, then you do not have to pay for it, but still you can get some nice data. But here, uh, when you said Microsoft, let me see. I'm not sure which one you're looking at, but let's no, I mean, if you open a Finviz, uh -huh. okay. uh, Finviz website? Finviz data is some of those data is not real time. Uh -huh. uh, it well, it's... you see the market share, it's mm -hmm. bigger, it became bigger than Amazon. Sorry, uh, Apple. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I see that when you were saying that now, Finviz, the, the market, you oh, see market. there's a map. Uh -huh. Yeah, instead of a map, it, the way you do, you look at uh, that um, here, um, Finviz, uh, I'm up to you. When I go on a sub here, Microsoft. So what you are look at the market cap here. Finviz is uh, in his market cap, Microsoft market cap. This is what you look at Microsoft. No, no, no. Do you mind to open maps? See, there is a maps section uh, okay. right in the menu. Menu. The, the menu maps. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just. Uh, Those come up. Uh huh. Yeah. So look it's, at. So Apple was bigger on the share market. Now Microsoft became bigger. Now so what you are looking at, you see that on the left side, one day performance. If you look at one year performance, look at one. This is just what it does is, is give you a heat map to show you in a year. If I'm looking at one year, Microsoft in a year, its growth is 3.8%. Where in a year, Apple growth is 6.8%. Got it. They, they, they just like it shows you individually how how to interpret. You know, if you want to invest money for a, a year, mm -hmm. this one is. If I'm looking at a year growth, this mm -hmm. is all. Already, then Microsoft is a better choice. You see that uh, here, right? Because Microsoft bid it up so much. This already happened. But if I compare Microsoft with Google, Google is better choice. You see, oh. Google got a six per negative six. Uh -huh. Nothing really changed. Google is going to get more powerful, right? So I would invest more money in Google. But if I look at Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Amazon minus 32. This wow. is like crazy, right? Right, right. So this is, that's a way for you. If you plan on doing something long term, where do I go? I will go this, those type of companies, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Okay, got it. That was a good insight though. Yeah. You're welcome. Mm -hmm, okay, you. man. Oh, okay. I wanted to do half an hour. Was it helpful? Amazing. I'm oh. yours on Sundays. <laughs> That's it for this episode, folks. Thank you for listening. And if it was helpful to you, please click the like button and follow us so that you can listen to more of our podcast. You can also visit us at urbanhood.org to learn more about our other programs. We hope you'll check in with us again. And until then, keep learning and do whatever it takes to reach financial freedom and follow your dreams.